Hi, I'm Corey Weatherton. I'm Director of Product Development for Integra Coach, and I'm excited to show you today the new 2024 Integra Coach Accolade. Now, this floor plan is the 37M that we'll be walking through. Uh, some of the things I want to point out are new features for this model year. Some of the things are just uh, features that we've had in the past that, that really deserve um, to highlight during this video. So, first of all, the first thing you're going to notice is this new paint scheme. Uh, for model year 2024, the exterior of the Accolade got a facelift. And so we think it's absolutely beautiful on this coach. A little bit aggressive since we're on a, a Freightliner S2RV chassis, but at the same time subtle enough that's not going to be offensive to anybody. We do offer different color options for this paint package, uh, but your general scheme will be exactly the same. So the Accolade, what is the Integra Coach Accolade? As I mentioned, it's on the Freightliner S2RV chassis. And... Uh, we started building on the S2RV chassis mid-model year 2018, and this chassis has been incredible for us. Uh, this has uh, some upgrades over the standard uh, Freightliner M2 business chassis. Some of those upgrades are we have a 100-gallon fuel tank between the rear frame rails, uh, so it's not a saddle tank like it used to be prior to 18. The saddle tank, going from memory, I think had approximately 74, 76-gallon capacity. Uh, there was a transfer pump that oftentimes it took a while to, to get fuel from one side to another. But this 100-gallon fuel tank in the rear, uh, single fill, it is absolutely incredible upgrade. We love it. Uh, the def tank is also larger. Um, this chassis uh, has 360 horsepower. It's a 6.7 liter Cummins, also with an Allison 3000 transmission. So uh, when they developed this chassis for us, they put an Allison 3000 in instead of a 2000, and that gives us 800 pound feet of torque. So uh, this, this uh, drivetrain is a monster. Now diesels are known not to be the quickest off the line, but at the same time, um, this, will, this will get you onto the interstate very easily. You'll be able to stay up to speed with everybody else. Uh, I can't say enough great things about this chassis. Also, when Freightliner uh, redesigned this chassis for us, they changed the pitch of the hood here. Uh, seems like a small thing, but it is a big deal because they actually took some of the straightness, if that's a word, the flatness out of the hood, and they angled it down. Uh, so that way there's a better visibility in front of you. So uh, they removed some of the blind spots. Uh, this hood, as I open it, uh, it is uh, very easy to open. I believe it takes about 15 pounds of force to open it. And then the nice thing is if you are working on this, you're changing oil and a gust of wind uh, hits the hood, it, it, there are struts, so it's a slow, slow uh, close on this. So there's not any danger of you uh, getting injured while you're working on this chassis. So it is a great chassis. We absolutely love it. Now the Integra Coach Accolade, um, it is very similar to other class C's that we build here at Integra Coach. Store. In our front cap, we do have uh, that automotive bonded window up there. We've been using that style window for uh, since about 17, 2017, 2016. And I can tell you uh, that we've had zero warranty issues on water leaks. And so that uh, is take, it took us a couple molds to get right when we first developed that. Uh, but we wanted to make sure that that thing was watertight. And so the, the window in that front cap is installed the same way this windshield is. So when Freightliner installs this windshield, they have about a quarter inch, uh, a quarter inch uh, recess, and then about a three quarter inch lip. Uh, they put adhesive around that, they put the windshield in, and then uh, that adhesive cures. But as it cures, it never gets fully solid. So going down the road, as this chassis windshield kind of buffets a little bit from, from the road, from the wind, um, there's enough flex in that windshield that you're not gonna get cracking going on. The same with our front cap is true. Uh, that adhesive that we use up there, it never fully gets solid. So that windshield does, our, our window up there does have room to flex with it. And so we're super proud of that. Uh, unfortunately, we're starting to see some of our competitors incorporate that into their front caps. But we've had a lot of success with that. And, uh, and on the inside, it does let a lot of light in. Uh, there is a power shade on that as well. So if you are down in Arizona, uh, the desert Southwest, you can uh, use that power shade and close, close off your window uh, just to keep the heat out. So as I mentioned, a uh, brand new paint scheme for this, this coach this year. Also, I want to point out, um, this is a brand new door for us. This door is, uh, is new this model year, and we absolutely love it. One of the things that this door solved for us was the fact that traditionally on a traditional uh, RV door, 
the question is, how do I close my, my, uh, my window shade? Because my screen's in the way. Well, with this screen door, your shade is actually built into your screen. And so rather than having to open the door, I can just close my shade on the screen door and it blocks all the light out from that window. So super excited about that. This door is also uh, thicker than the prior door we're using, a lot more uh, stable, a lot more uh, girthy, if I can use that word. Um, but it is a solid door, and I want to point that out because that is a new enhancement for this model year. Um, as we come down the coach, what I love about our Super Cs is the amount of storage we have. Um, this S2 RV chassis, when we started building on it, we actually uh, build up off the frame rail. And as we do that, we're able to get pass through storage in uh, at least one of our compartments, uh, pass through across the coach. But then you'll also notice on this coach, there's pass through up and down the coach. Uh, so that is um, a, a plywood box that we build on that. We put a, a, a watertight barrier underneath uh, to keep the moisture out. And then we carpet it. Nice thing about the carpet is that if I stick a storage tote in there, and I hit my brakes, it's not gonna go sliding forward because that carpet uh, gives enough friction that everything will stay in its proper place. So uh, absolutely incredible amount of storage. The cargo carrying capacity on this is, uh, is a lot for weight, but then it's also a lot for uh, cubic volume that you're able to store. You're gonna notice above me that we have not only an awning over the door, but we have a full length awning on this, uh, on this side wall. This is a super slide. Key thing about our super slides, uh, we are using a power gear system on that. And so it is a heavy duty uh, motor, uh, rack and pinion style. And the great thing about these is they're very durable. Uh, when you're bumping up to a super C, obviously you're getting into a lot, uh, a lot higher price point. And so we wanna make sure this coach is as trouble free as possible for you as the customer. And part of that is just in the materials and products we're using like these power gear slide systems. You know, in fact, the Power Gear slide system, that's one of the things that allows us to have a two-year warranty. It's, it's double the industry standard. Every other manufacturer has a, has a one-year limited warranty. We go two years, and I believe it has a lot to do with the components we're using, with our engineering that uh, we put into designing products, and then also our production team. So um, two-year warranty, twice the industry standard, and uh, I know a lot of you guys appreciate that, so we, we do that for you. Uh, on this coach, we have the Easy Drive Premier System. Our goal is to be the quietest riding, best handling coach uh, at each price point, but then also each segment. So on this Super C, uh, go to our website, read more on that. I don't want to take the time during this video just to keep it somewhat short. Coming back, uh, we do have Exterior Entertainment Center. Um, there we have a television, we have a, a radio head unit and then speakers behind this door. Uh, that way, as you are at potentially a NASCAR race and you're tailgating, uh, you can watch all the festivities on your television while you're immersed in the environment. On the roof, uh, something you're not going to see is 200 watts of solar. You're not going to see it because you're not getting up there, but there is 200 watts of solar. There's also the WineGuard 2.0 Connect Wi-Fi range extender and 4G LTE hotspot. And new for this model year, uh, some of you may be super excited about this, but on our accolades, we are now optioning uh, Starlink. So if you're into Starlink, uh, the satellite internet system, you can get it now on our accolades. That is an option on this. Um, some of you are familiar with our Accolade XT. It comes standard on that. Um, on this, it's an option. And then also on this roof, you have an in-motion satellite system. In-motion satellite is a standard definition sa satellite system. You can use it while going down the road. Um, if you want to upgrade to one of our traveler satellites, that's a destination satellite. Uh, that is HD. That can only be used when you're stopped. So when you're at the campsite, a lot of folks prefer this in motion because going down the road, if you're uh, traveling with kids, they want to be able to, to watch television. But if you have Starlink and you are connected with this, um, the nice thing about this is all of your televisions on the inside are smart televisions. So you can stream uh, games, you can stream uh, your, your series, you can stream anything you want, courtesy of Starlink going down the road. Or if you want to use that WineGuard uh, 4G LTE hotspot, you can stream with that as well. Um, as we come further back, you're gonna notice that uh, we do install Michelin tires on these. Nothing but the best when it comes to our, our accolades. Michelin, a great name brand. Uh, they've been in the tire business for I don't know how long, but the motorhome business, uh, they're really one of the, the key players. And so we choose to uh, partner with them on this. You're gonna notice in this compartment, we do have our LP tank. 
Um, above it, we have um, a cover that you're not going to be, be able to see one of our water tanks in there. That's why we put the cover there. A little bit of uh, aesthetic coming back. Um, we've got a rotocast compartment. This is great. So if you are out hunting or fishing and you have uh, muddy muck boots, you can throw them in there. You don't have to worry about uh, keeping the carpet clean up front. And then back in this final one, another small rotocast storage compartment. And these do have motion sensing lights on them. And so uh, it's the middle of the night and you forgot something out here. Uh, just open it up and your motion sensing light uh, will illuminate. On our accolades, uh, we do have a full rear cap uh, with the backup camera incorporated into it. Uh, the roof is a fiberglass roof, fully walkable. Uh, with Integra Coach, all of our roofs are fiberglass. You don't have to worry about TPO. And then also um, you're gonna have your side cameras on this coach. Uh, it's very easy to drive, uh, surprisingly, I might say. Whenever we have conventions in, in large cities and we invite dealers to come, I always hop in the Accolade because I love how these drive. Uh, whether, it's, whether it's downtown Las Vegas, downtown Indianapolis, Orlando, it doesn't matter. These handle very well. I think a lot of it has to do with because the cockpit is similar to your daily driver. It's very similar to, to my truck that I drive, uh, but obviously just a lot bigger, but very easy to drive. So um, this also has a 10 gallon gas electric hot water heater. Great thing about that is it's rapid recovery. If I so choose to use it that way, I can burn both propane and electricity at the same time, and it'll replenish itself about three times in an hour. So 30 gallons of, of hot water while camping. This is the outside of the coach. Let's go inside and check it out. Alrighty, so we're inside the 37M Integra Coach Accolade, and I can tell you, I love it. Everything I've seen so far, we've done a lot of new things for this uh, 2024 model year. And we'll get to those in a second. But first of all, I want to talk about a little bit up front here. Uh, this is your Freightliner front end. When this comes in from Freightliner, uh, we are actually installing the seats and then also putting the, the radio head unit in it. That is a Sony. It is Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Um, what I love about this chassis, as I said, just the drivability of it. It handles extremely well. Um, this, I would say, is really one of our best handling chassis that we build on. They're all good. Uh, but as I said, this is my favorite. I'm showing you my biasness right now. Uh, but a front overhead bunk, um, this is rated at 750 pounds. Um, not that 750 pounds will ever be up there, but at the same time, we want to engineer it so that uh, no matter what you use this for, uh, it will be very, very sturdy. And so um, it goes in exactly like that. We have a ladder that is included um, that you can uh, utilize. As I said, a power front shade. That power front shade is nice so that if you are in, in warm places, you can block out uh, the heat, but then also uh, at nighttime, you can close it and it's a complete blackout in here. You will notice these, what appears to be a seat belt hanging down. Uh, we do include a child safety net up here. And so if, if you do have kids up here, or maybe you're even an adult and you roll a lot in your sleep, we give you that uh, net up there to be able to make sure that whoever's up here stays up here in the middle of the night. So uh, that's our front end here. We have a nice, Nice storage cabinet here with coat hooks in it. A lot of times that's overlooked. You can put coats in here. You can put your shoes in here. Um, a lot of coaches don't include that, but this 37M uh, that we build definitely does. You notice as we look around, uh, there's a lot of new things, as I mentioned. First of all, uh, we reduced our um, the visible styles on these cabinets, so we oversized the doors. We did that last year in our Accolade XT. We got a lot of positive feedback from you guys. And so we carried it over into our Accolade this year as well. So um, we oversized them, made them look more residential. Uh, pretty seamless, I would say. Engineering did a great job with that. Something I like to point out is the dual struts. Um, as I take a corner, maybe a little bit too hard, whatever's up there is going to stay up there. Those struts are going to keep it in. Also, it's going to prevent it from rattling. Uh, so new cabinet door uh, style but then also oversized them to reduce the visible styles and also changed our wood color for this year. Um, something else to point out, uh, this does have theater seats in it. They are power. Nice thing about that is I, end of the day, just simply um, push of a button and I can uh, open, close. Those are directly across from our television. The television is hidden on our, uh, on our televator. So that is a large 50-inch uh, television that... Uh, We'll go all the way up when you're traveling it's best to keep it down uh, but inside the main living area of this coach you're going to have both night shades and daytime shades so be able to block a lot of the the sun's uv rays and keep the heat outside of the coach 
Uh, solid surface um, in most places. So our dinette, uh, for our televator, our uh, kitchen top, solid surfaces. Uh, you'll see as we swing a little bit more this way, uh, we do have an induction cooktop in this uh, unit. This induction cooktop is great because one, it only uh, produces heat when there's a pot on it. But then also, more importantly, in my opinion, it, uh, it allows us to have storage underneath. And, and so uh, new for this year, we do have uh, hidden drawers here behind our cabinet doors. And so a lot of storage in this coach. Uh, because we don't have an oven down here, uh, we do have a convection microwave. Convection microwaves are great because, um, one, I get all this storage down below. But then, two, um, I'm, I can use it on the shore power that I've probably already paid for at the campgrounds. Or I can run my generator uh, to power this. And then also, it just doesn't create the amount of heat that a normal oven would do. And so, as I mentioned, just, just a lot of storage. Um, nice place for your wastebasket. Sometimes RV manufacturers forget about the wastebasket. Great place there. And then uh, your, your sponge holder. And then just a lot of drawers for storage. Uh, something that you may not notice um, is that we do have a spice cabinet on both sides of, of the window here. And uh, oftentimes that's an unused place. And so we decided let's use it and put some spice, spice racks up there in case you like your spices. Your hutch area, um, we do have a couple shelves in there. You're going to be able to store things. Uh, obviously, uh, this is going to be uh, glass, so make sure what you're putting in there is not a, a tall, heavy metal candlestick or who knows what. I just made that up on the spot. Hit your brakes and it'll come through there. Make sure it's soft. Uh, fireplace down below, uh, that is awesome simply because, it uh, one, it produces supplemental heat if you want it to. During the dead of summer when it's hot, um, you can just have uh, the ambiance of the flames, but no heat actually. Um, so we do have a vinyl plank flooring. So it is snapped together. It uh, is a residential tile floor. So it uh, definitely makes it feel like home in here. We, we've changed wallboards this year. So our wallboard has changed as well as our accent wallboards have changed. So it has been a complete facelift on the outside and inside of this coach. As we come back, you're going to notice our Firefly system. This Firefly system is whole house control. Great thing about this is on my home screen, I get a simple readout. Um, and then I can go down through uh, my generator, uh, my power source, my lights, my HVAC, my slides. And then also if I wanted to, I could download the mobile app, sit out at my campsite, and then uh, control the whole inside of my coach from my campsite. 21 cubic foot residential refrigerator with ice and water in the door. Uh, maybe this is too big for you. Maybe you don't like to have a lot of, of uh, fresh foods as you travel. Uh, we will option a 15 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator in this coach. So this is standard. You can option a smaller 12 volt if you'd like. As we come back into the bathroom, uh, you're going to notice that it is our vintage linen interior. Um, we decided to break up the coach and uh, colors in the coach and make the bathroom feel like its own separate room, porcelain toilet, and then also a very large shower. So you notice as well that the wallboard is carried over into this room, new as well with an overhead exhaust fan. Uh, this this uh, 37M, you can option it with a combo washer dryer. What I love about these is I can put a, a small load of laundry in in the morning. I can go out fishing and then I come back in the afternoon and the thing has already dried it. It'll do everything but fold your clothes. You don't have to switch between the washer to the dryer. Um, I can leave it alone and it'll do its thing. Uh, bank of drawers down below, back into the bedroom. We can close off with a pocket door, uh, but you'll notice uh, just there again, large wardrobes, uh, two-sided, his and hers. Um, we do have a television in here and then storage behind and then solid surface uh, tabletop there and, and the window that we've uh, blocked off So with, with a, a nightshade. But back, we've got a king size bed. Awesome thing about this bed is that it is on a power lift. And so uh, the switch is actually on the far corner, but uh, if I wanted to watch television with my head inclined a little bit, I simply on the overhead cabinet will push it and it'll power itself up and I can put it at any position. I can sleep in that position too if I'd like to. So uh, both nightstands, you will have wireless charging, solid surfaces as well, and then a, a door. So those are usable nightstands. We did do the oversized cabinet doors uh, to re reduce the visible styles back here as well. Um, inside, we do have a 120 volt outlet with a grommet cut into the center. That way I can, uh, 
if I need to uh, have power up there and then run a cable down through that grommet, I easily can. So um, massive bed, king size bed, RV king size bed. Uh, not only did our wood change, but our fascias did as well. And I think our, our decor and design team did an incredible job this year. So uh, I want to thank you for watching this video today. Again, my name is Corey Weatherton. I'm the Director of Product Development for Integra Coach. This has been the uh, Integra Coach Accolade 37M. If you have more questions about this, contact your local dealer. On our website, there's a dealer search, and you'll be able to uh, find who is the closest to you. If you have more technical questions that maybe a dealer couldn't answer, always feel free to call our factory. Uh, let them know what state you're from. They will connect you with a, a regional sales manager for, for your area, and they will answer any question you have. But thanks again for watching this video on the Integra Coach Accolade. Um, hopefully we see you camping this fall in an Integra Coach, and hopefully this video has turned your eyes towards an Accolade as your next purchase.